Unreal Engine 4.19 introduces a large amount of changes, and a couple of them are smaller that may get overlooked. So we're going to go ahead and cover a few of those changes now. The landscape system now uses more of a size-based setup for LODs rather than distance-based. And you can change those inside of the landscape in the LOD and LOD distribution system. And as we go in and out, you can see our LODs popping in and out. We can also visualize that by going to Lit, Visualizers, LOD, and now we can see our LODs visualized. And we can, of course, adjust those settings in here based on, you know, maximum LODs we want, our different distances, and our different L other LODs. And all these settings are inside of the documentation for more information. After this, we have an improved auto convex tool. So if we go to our mesh for our character and we open it up, Unreal Engine 4.18 added in a auto convex system for adding collision. We can see here we have no collision. If we go to collision auto convex, prior to this we had a bunch of settings and it took a little bit of time to work. The new system is much faster and basically has some easier settings. We have a whole count and a max whole verts and then some precision. If I hit apply, you're going to find, on my machine at least, it quickly creates my hole. It's much quicker than the old system. You can, of course, tweak it, maybe up the count, maybe up the verts, tweak it to however you want. The nice thing about this, though, is it will do it in the background asynchronously. I could actually bump this all the way up to something ridiculous and hit apply. And rather than locking my system up, you'll notice I can now work. I can go back to what I'm doing, and like shader compiling, it's going to go ahead and do the convex calculations in the background and create my convex collision. Next, we have a static mesh LOD system change. So if we pull up one of our static meshes, so this one actually works, we now have a new setup for the LOD system. Rather than all of our LODs being visible, they make a similar change to how the skeletal mesh LOD system works, and we have an LOD picker system. So you can see here it's set to default of LOD auto, and we see our LOD of zero. If we zoom in and out, we go into here, we can change this now to custom, and custom will allow us to only see the LODs that we want. In this case, I only have one LOD group, so therefore it's only going to show one, but let's say I had three LOD groups. We'll go and apply this. Now I have the ability to customize. Well, I only want to edit, let's say, three. So LOD2 in this case. Now I only see LOD2. Okay, I'll set it back to auto. Now it's going to show me the appropriate one. And that's just the changes to the LOD system. It groups it and organizes it better and allows you to customize it using this LOD picker system. And that's a change in 4.19. Another change is the way our lights work. So we have a physical light setup now. If we go to our physical light map, and we'll pull this up, and we're going to go ahead and see this little sample map. Now these all look fairly similar. Let me slow down my speed. Uh, there we go. Now all these lights look fairly similar. However, if we were to look at them, we're going to see a change. We now have intensity units. By default, it's going to be unitless. That is the standard for 4.18 and prior. That's the way your existing lights will continue. However, new lights, if we were to drag a new light in, is going to come under a different setting. So let's go to light, point light, and drag it in. And now you'll notice it's under candelas, or candle power, with a default intensity of 8, which is obviously much lower than this setting of 10,000. If we look at our third light, we actually have a third option, lumens. And that's your common for most of your lighting settings. Now, lights are fairly complex. This main change is so you can kind of standardize. Let's say you're going to use a real-life setting and you have some real-life readings in either lumens or candelas. You can now match your actual scene to those settings based on this information, and any lighting calculation in the background are going to go ahead and take that into effect. Now, each one of them has different minimums and maximums, so that's something you'll have to pay attention to. And if you adjust the intensity units, you have to make sure you adjust your intensity accordingly. For example, this is 10,000 intensity unitless, but if I switch this to candelas, you'll notice I have a bright overblown light because I have 10,000 for my intensity. But if I reset this, you'll notice I now have 0 to 160 for my range rather than that large 10,000. We'll just change this back, move it back up. So those are some changes to keep in mind for your lighting system. We have the disk size system has changed. So if we go over to the size map, we can right click on anything we want. I'm going to go to my content folder, size map. Our size map has now changed to reflect disk size rather than memory size by default. Memory size is the older 
version, disk size is the newer version, and it's going to show you approximately your size on disk for all these materials. Well, all the all the content that you've selected. So for my content folder, I have about 747 megabytes on my disk that's going to take. You can, of course, drill down on any of these. It's going to give you individual information. You can go back, like for example, here is this material, and it tells you the information that's inside of here and the sizes, and you can adjust it as needed. One additional thing when you are going to be building out for different platforms, you can adjust this size map to show you for each platform the different sizes. Lastly, we have a quick change to the crypto system. If we go to the project settings, at the top we're going to find crypto. Prior to 4.19, you had to manage cryptography, your encryption of your packaging, your signing, all these keys separately. You can handle it now all inside of your project inside of here. So you could, for example, when you come in, you have nothing set up. Technically, I don't even think anything's checked. I think it's like this when it comes in. And you can now set up, I want to go ahead and make an encryption key. I want to encrypt my pack files and my EU asset files. I want to make a new set of signing keys and encrypt my pack itself and sign it. And you can do this all inside of here so that way when you build it and package it, rather than having to do it by hand, it does it all inside of the project settings here. Each of these, of course, has their own information. Some of them take more time and resources in order to unprocess or unencrypt. So read the documentation appropriately. Don't just compress everything and think people aren't going to be able to modify it or extract the data. This is just a thing that should be used with caution. And that's it. Those are a few smaller changes that may have been missed in Unreal Engine 4.19.